Jump Force is fun, but it has issues. Straight like that. We're starting off with the little things. We're going to start off with the soundtrack. Y'all know I'm all about having good music whenever I play video games, whenever I upload videos, stuff of that nature. And it felt amazing. It felt like I didn't even need to insert my own music while playing this game. And that felt amazing. That's just a little thing. We're going to get to the biggest stuff in a little bit. But another thing I want to speak on are the stages. The stages look absolutely beautiful. I did notice a few issues with the stages, but we're going to talk about that later. But the transitions were really cool too. Some people might not have actually realized how to pull off the stage transitions, but once you realize how to do that, you honestly felt like a god because you felt like you were just effing up your opponent. You were taking them wherever you wanted to take them. It was really good. It was really cool. The amount of characters that we were actually allowed to use in this beta impressed me. We were able to use a bunch of different characters and also figure out a bunch of different playstyles that would go with those specific characters. Out of all the characters we got to play with, I've noticed that not one of them is trash. There are ones that are better than others, but none of them are just complete garbage. I like that. I like that a lot. That makes me feel like people will be able to enjoy whichever character they really want to enjoy like say for example if you like a character from one piece just because you like one piece you will be able to use that character from one piece and do well with that character it would really disappoint me if people were to get this game seeing that a specific character was coming from a specific series and they just could not use that character because that character was trash that would really disappoint me but that is not the case well at least it is not so far the transformations and the abilities look really cool man i love the transformations in this and especially those transformations that allow you to change up your your combos those are really dope like when naruto goes into a six pass mode and he just has a completely different combo strength that's really cool bro y'all gonna hear me say this game is cool a lot because it is it honestly is cool i noticed that there were no inescapable 100 infinite loops now granted we've only played the game for a few days not even days i mean we played it for a few hours so i wouldn't expect people to figure out infinite loops off rip but from what i've seen the game just straight up does not allow something of that nature now there are loops and there are some high damage and combos you can do but i have not noticed anything 100 percent something that just is inescapable stuff of that nature and i like that ultimately this game is very fun it's very cool i said that like a lot so let's talk about the negatives now I gotta talk about the negatives after because I know as people start clicking off the video if you talk about the negatives first just because a lot of people don't like hearing facts they don't like hearing truth I don't know why but anyway we're going to speak on the input output issues some people might not have experienced this as much as others but I know there were some people like me for example during was it the third session it honestly felt like I had no control over my character I was literally asking the chat during my stream I was asking them I was like guys do you understand what's going on at all everybody was like nah I can't really say what's going on it looks like the game is just i don't know it's just doing something i remember it was one time i tried to use rukia i tried to use one for abilities and it just made me charge into my opponent i didn't even use the ability it, i don't know i just don't know what to really say about that it just did whatever it wanted it was one time i was trying to chase i had full mobility in my meter or whatever you guys know how you have that mobility meter that's what i would like to call it it might be called something different but i had that completely filled up and i literally was spamming the button to chase or whatever it's called and that just would not happen it just would not maybe it was just my controller bugging out but i don't think it was considering the fact that there were literally other people hitting me up and saying that it was happening to them too speaking of inputs if you do an input at the end of a round it will carry over into the next round at the beginning and that literally can get you effed up which is really annoying and it really shouldn't be like that say for example you're charging up at the end of a round the next round you'll end up beginning the match charging up or rather you'll begin the round charging up and i don't like that because you're just completely wide open i feel like that's a bug i don't think that's supposed to actually be there but it is there so i had to speak on something else that threw me off in this game is just that sometimes you really just don't know what's going on on your screen there's too much motion blur there are too many particle effects and there's no alternate colorways mirror matches are just complete headaches in my opinion when it comes to this game some people might be able to tell a difference but there's been so many times i literally have thought that i won i thought i was doing the beating because it seemed like the inputs i was doing was just mashing up a little too well for me to get whooped but in actuality it wasn't me doing the whooping it was the other guy that looked exactly like me and there was so much motion blur and so many particle effects i really couldn't even tell what's going on the only way i could tell what was going on is by simply looking at the health bar and i felt like i was doing that way too much of course you should pay attention to your health bar while playing this game but you shouldn't be looking at your health bar mid combo you know maybe if you know for a fact you're getting hit but when you literally can't even tell ao hey, who hit who then that's 
that's really annoying because you could actually be the one doing the hitting but instead of looking at your opponent doing the combo you're looking at your health bar trying to make sure you're not the one getting hit that's really ugly to me i don't like that i feel like they should do something like how in storm you just have a darker tone for player two i feel like that would just be a very very easy quick solution to just make sure that everyone just stays on track they know what's going on tone down some of the motion blur i love motion blur when it comes to this game but i don't want it to be this much i really don't need this much motion blur bro when i'm over here trying to make a thumbnail sometimes i can't even get a clean shot just because of the fact the motion blur is just so heavy i like the particles too but sometimes you literally just can't see what's going on just because it's so much stuff happening all at once there's so many particles just going all over the place so just tone that down just a little bit i'm not saying that there just needs to be none at all i would love to actually see these in the game but just tone, tone those down just a little bit all right i feel like that would make the game a lot better another thing that bugged me was that i couldn't choose which assist i use or which character i could switch into and that honestly was really annoying but i ended up learning how to build my team around it so that it wouldn't be much of a problem but still i would rather just pick who I would like to come in or which assist I would like to use. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I would like. I can still manage with the system that they have, but yeah, as I said, I would just rather pick and choose which ones come in. Let's talk about the combat for a second in this game. So if you guys don't know what Turtle Shell Friendly is, let me explain. It's this game. This game is Turtle Shell Friendly. And what I mean by that is you can pretty much just chill in the back. You can just have your guard up. You can evade pretty much everything. As long as you're actually paying attention, you can literally just play defensively just way too easily and that's really annoying i'm not one of those guys that don't want people to use the guard button but when it gets to the point where you literally you won't fight you're just using your abilities your assists you're not doing any combos at all that's really annoying that's very ugly it's just way too easy to punish people for trying to punish you for guarding that's how i feel it was sometimes i literally was just trying to see if my opponent could get me out of my guard and sometimes he just straight up couldn't just because of the fact as soon as he would try to do something i would punish him if he tried to grab me i would slide to the side i would slap him in the back of the neck if he tried to break my guard i would slide to the side slap him in the back of the neck if he tried to use the assist to try to like blur me out or not blur me out try to distract me from seeing what he's actually trying to do to break my guard i would just use my assist i would counter him and then he gets hit and i don't get hit by anything because i'm still blocking that might sound like a bunch of gibberish to the people who did not play in the beta but for the people who played the beta you probably understand what i just said and you guys probably definitely understand that a lot of people towards the end of the beta wouldn't fight they just would not fight you they would just chill in the back they would just have the guard up and they would just wait for you the entire game they would not try to push the issue at all now i wouldn't mind people doing that if there was just an easier way to punish people for playing like that there really is not the guard breaks take too long the grabs take too long it's too easy to really figure out what your opponent is about to do on the offensive side while you're defending for you to really get punished for defending speaking of punishing you can punish people for just moving way too easily with abilities in my opinion not every ability is fast enough to punish someone for moving in the slightest but there are definitely some abilities that literally just clapped you if you move in the slightest that ends up making people just not move at all that makes people just stay with their guard up the entire game and that makes the game very boring because i don't want to have a match where we're just sitting here looking at each other from across the map with our guards up that's very ugly something else that i didn't speak on you can literally go straight out of your guard into your ultimate or ability or something of that nature and that can also be used to punish somebody for trying to take you out of your guard that's 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 oh my goodness that can make the game so boring and annoying i talked about grabs and guard breaks taking too long it honestly feels like you're just stuck in the animation for too long in general if you try to hit somebody while they're guarding and this isn't just an issue when somebody's guarding this is just an issue because combos unexplainably drop at times and when that happens you're just stuck in the air you can't really do anything because you're still stuck in the combo you can't really do anything you're just stuck now you can use a escape to just automatically get out of the combo but at the same time that's wasting some of your escape meter when really your combo shouldn't be dropping it's just that the game is not i don't even know how to explain that i don't think it's netcode i think the game just doesn't let combos connect the way they should sometimes i'm not talking about the user putting in the wrong input i'm talking about the user literally doing the right input and the combo just does not work like the opponent will just casually fall out of it now earlier i said that i like the stages and i do but some of the stages seem to cause a drop in frames and that can really be ugly that can be an issue that can make people get very bored in the middle of their fight because it's just slow i've had people hit me up they're like yo am I tripping or it doesn't seem like in New York the game just freezes up a little bit more than usual or the game just feels a little bit more slow and I'm like yeah yeah 
yeah, it definitely feels like it's getting a little bit slower. I just want to remind you guys that this was all a beta test. This is a test. This is a test to make sure that the full game is good when it comes out. There's a test for matchmaking, which I have to say, which is not really an issue in this game. And I have to point that out too. I always got to give credit where credit is due. It seemed like the matchmaking was very nice. People didn't lag out on matches that much, even though sometimes it would happen. It's a beta. So honestly, at this stage, I honestly expected there to be more connection issues, but it didn't seem like that was really the problem. Problem. I didn't see too many issues in terms of connection or matchmaking. I want to say thank you to Bandai for even allowing us to participate in this beta. Now, I know some people didn't get in and that's unfortunate, but for the people who got in, I feel like we can give Bandai a good amount of feedback in order for this game to be better when the full game drops. And on top of that, we got to have a lot of fun in the process. So there you go. There you have it. Hopefully they expand on some of the things I like. Hopefully they try to touch up on some of the things that I dislike. Let me know what you guys like and dislike about the Jump Force beta in the comment section down below. Below. that's pretty much it for this video though i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more content i hope you guys all have a wonderful day though i'm out bruh <laughs>